Hey guys, what's up? I want to talk about how to create realistic hair. There's many ways to create hair, many different softwares, plugins that all basically do the same thing. Long hair can be a complicated task to achieve in 3D, but Fiber Mesh does an amazing job for achieving realistic hair. The idea is, is in ZBrush, you're going to sculpt the direction of the hair. You also can create multiple sub tools, which is going to allow you to have multiple layers to create this feeling of depth. Then all you need to do is just get that into Maya. Well, you can export these from ZBrush and then that's what Maya hair systems are for. Maya hair systems allow you to take those exported curves and then convert them to clumps. Hair systems have a bunch of attributes that you can control. You can plug in different materials from Arnold, Redshift, V-Ray, and it's just an easy way, I believe, a little bit easier than XGen to get hair into Maya. I want this to be a more beginner tutorial for beginning character artists. I plan on doing more advanced action tutorials in the future, but for now, let's just start from the ground up. So here are the basics. Create fiber mesh in ZBrush by masking an object. Go into the fiber mesh panel, set some settings, accept. Okay, we got that. Let me just break down the secret to fiber mesh. Stop using the groom tools. They're not that great. They're okay, there's some of them that you can use, but for the most part, you just need to use Move. I mostly use Move. Go in there and treat it like a mesh. Sculpt it. That's really all you need to know about fiber mesh. Everything else is technique, planning, Maya hair systems, lighting, and look dev. I have a Udemy tutorial where I walk you through all this. This is probably better for beginners, but you probably can learn something too if you're advanced as well. Check it out if you feel like it. But I did make this awesome script that allows you to set up multiple hair systems in one click. Think about how much time you could save if you're working with multiple subtool layers in ZBrush, you exported all of them to Maya, and now you have to go one by one and create hair systems out of those. Now times that by every time you want to make a change, it gets really tedious. So this script basically takes all those hair groups that you export from ZBrush and converts them into cleanly organized groups with the hair system, the PFX stroke in the group. And this is going to be super handy when you want to just do multiple changes. And this is actually going to allow you to get realistic hair because you're going to have more times to go between ZBrush and Maya. Other than that, guys, I hope you learned something and subscribe to CG Character Artist for more videos.